Hello all, Paul Long, how to buy a business using an SBA loan. In this video, we're going to talk about existing owner involvement and partial change of ownership. This is an updated video uh, with the new SBA uh, 5010 7.1 that came out in November of 2023. And let's get into it. So there's a lot of new changes. So the first part I'm going to talk about is a complete change of ownership. If I am coming in to buy your business, 100% and you're leaving. That's what we're going to talk about. It's important to know that the SBA wants you to exit within 12 months, period. I could stop the video. You can't be an officer, a director, a shareholder, employee, a consultant, a 1099, etc. You can, under no circumstances, can the owner stay on as a consultant, W-2, anything past 12 months. Now, the first 12 months is always going to be really important, obviously, because you want that seller to be there to help you along with the business and make sure that you have a good a good runway to be successful in the business. OK, now keep in mind, you cannot have earnouts as a part of this. So if you're a business broker watching this and you're a st and you're setting up a, uh, a deal right now, you cannot have earnouts on an SBA loan. Okay, Paul, what's an earnout? An earnout is where you say, okay, uh, seller, you we will do a lower purchase price if, uh, or we, we will do some sort of change in the price based on the sales within the next year, two year, three years, whatever the case is. Okay, that's called an earnout. So you cannot do earnouts in a uh, SBA loan situation ever. Now, let's talk about the new rules, which is a partial change of ownership. This has never been allowed in SBA prior to the November 11th, 2023 SOP um, that came out. So we can do partial changes of ownership. That's super exciting. So let's say, for example, me and another partner uh, own 50, let, let, let me, let, let's use three people, for example. Me and two other partners own a plumbing business, okay? And I want to sell my shares on there, but we want to have a third person come in to buy my shares. Yes, now you can use an SBA loan to do that. So keep in mind that the loan would be to the business, okay? The two other partners that I'm talking about would also have to be on the loan for your purchase of your 33.3% of the shares. So anyone 20% owner or greater must be on the loan. And of course, that also means that because it's a partial change of ownership, those other two partners can stay on as an owner, director, officer, shareholder, key employee, or business for as long as they want to. Uh, there's no rules on that. So that's the partial change of ownership, which are, is now allowed in SBA lending. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to reach out to your lender if you have questions on this, and we will see you on another video.